Hello and welcome to week two of English 111 Online Summer 2018. I know that says 17, but it's the third semester of the 17-18 year. That's why it says that. So yes, last week was busy. Lots of stuff going on for last week. So to get to week two, I just click over here. This is where we are right here. And that takes us right here. So what are we doing? Well, you're watching this video, which is right here, which duh, because you're watching it right now. Also, once you're done watching this video, then you're going to do the readings in Odigia. Again, Odigia is the name of our textbook. You access that by going to the top of our page, clicking on Odigia, and that will take you to the textbook. Again, there's a different video that shows you all about the textbook. We're not going to spend time on that here. Next thing is you get to read and comment on three other students' papers on the discussion board. Now note, this is due, this assignment right here is due on Wednesday, May 30th. Normally things are due on Sunday, but this one is due by Wednesday. Now, this discussion board is up here. So what you should have done is clicked on discussion board and you should have added a new discussion topic. You should have put in paper one, you can call this whatever you want. That's first draft. Ah. And then you would add your paper. You can either click here and choose the file from your computer or you can just drag and drop it into there and hit post to forum. That will then upload it to the discussion board area. Once you've uploaded yours, you will see that there are other people who have uploaded their papers. This assignment is that you need to read at least three other people's drafts and give them feedback. And you're gonna look for the following. Are there any glaring spelling or grammar issues? Is it clear why they are sharing this story? Out of all the stories they could have shared, why this one? Is it clear that it made an impact on their life? Did they use at least one of the two prompts from the assignment? Again, the prompts are found in week one. And list three things they did well. Often it's easy for us to find things that people do incorrectly, but we want to do th note three things they did well. So you need to answer these questions for at least three papers. And please choose papers that don't have people already making comments on them. We want everyone to have comments. Okay, so that is due again by that feedback is due by Wednesday, May 30th. And the reason that we need the feedback by then is because the final draft is due a few days later on Sunday. So we wanna be able to have you as the writer of this paper get feedback from me and feedback from three of your peers so you know what you need to do to revise it, make it better, and so you'll be able to submit it for your final draft. There's that, okay. In addition, there is the idea of why, why do we have to do revision? Well, there's a video here on revision, lecture on revision, it's not super long, it's actually fairly entertaining, explains that, and you have a quiz that you need to take based on this lecture. Once you've done these things, then you get to turn in your final draft of paper one. Now, something to note, you need to upload your files, all files for that matter, as a doc or a docx file only. That is a Word document. No, I don't use Word, I use a Mac, or I use OpenOffice, or I use Google Docs. Okay, well, if you use a different form, then, if again, if you go to the top of our page, and you go to Resources, in here there are videos that show you how to convert. So if you use a Mac, this shows you how to save your file as a doc or docx. This, uh, if you use Google Docs, this shows you how to save your Google Doc as a Doc or a DocX. Um, if you use OpenOffice, it shows you how to save a Doc because that is the file that I can open and I can read. If you send me a file I can't open and grade, then you get a zero on it. So you have to submit it in the correct file. I have to be, it has to be in a format that I can read. Right now, no, you'll be very, be very careful you upload the correct file. A lot of students accidentally, quote unquote, accidentally, upload the wrong file because they're running out of time and they're like, oops, I submitted the wrong file. Sorry, Professor Morgan, to buy themselves more time. Uh, no, okay? Again, one of the transferable skills we're gonna teach in this class is making sure you do what you need to do on time and correctly, because that is a skill you'll need in a job. So you will get a zero on this paper if you upload the wrong file, or if there are not significant changes between the first and the final draft, again, the revision on you know, the lecture over here will help you with that or if you have plagiarized any part of this essay, because this will tell me if you've copied and pasted your paper from somewhere else. And no, you cannot use a paper from a previous class. This is a new game. We have to do everything from scratch. Now to upload your narration paper, it's a little different. It's got a little bit of a symbol here. It's a little different. This goes to something called turn it in. So you click on here, you scroll down, and it's loading data, loading data. 
So upload your paper, you click on submit paper. And then you give it a name, paper one, final, whatever. And then you can find your file by either clicking here and choosing the file, or you can drag or drop it. And then you hit add submission and that will add it, okay? Also notice that right here, if you click on this little thing, this little blue thing right here, that will show you the rubric of how you get graded on this paper. Okay, and that also, so when you run it through this program, this Turnitin program, this also shows me if you've copied or pasted anything from the internet, and that's is a zero. You're getting graded on what you do, not what you can find on the internet. This is this paper right here is a narration. You shouldn't be doing any research on this anyway. It's all your own original writing. Okay, so that's what we're doing for week two. Okay, so again, you're watching this video, you do the readings, you do the discussion board, finish that by the 30th, watch this vision on lecture, sorry, <laughs> watch this lecture on revision, take the quiz, quiz you can take up to two times, high score counts, and then upload your final draft. What happens if you turn in stuff late? Yes, that's a zero. No late work is assigned, is assigned, is accepted in this class. This is a, an accelerated summer class. We cannot get behind. So no late work is accepted. If you try to turn it, if you don't turn it in something on time, it's a zero. So stay on top of that. All right. Now go do stuff for week two. Bye.